What's up, boxing fans? Let's just get this smoke. Um, doing something that I don't ordinarily do. Um, but I feel like the time uh, is right to um, delve into areas where I don't typically go. Uh, so, yeah, uh, if you haven't heard yet, then uh, let me be the first to tell you. I am part of the, uh, the debate series uh, over at Knockouts, um, the tournament. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, I think it's a great idea. It's a, I really like... Um, I really like having a home for open discussion and exchange of ideas. I feel like that is uh, fundamental to the, uh, the health and the growth of the YouTube boxing community, of which I am a proud member and contributor. Um, yeah, uh, beside the promotion of another channel and, you know, talking about myself, but, um, which is something I don't really do. I also don't really talk about um, other YouTubers, uh, content creators, and like drama and stuff. It's not really my. Uh, it's not really my cup of tea. Mostly, I don't care about it. Uh, I have better things to do in life. But recently, uh, after really like years of not thinking about a guy. Um, boxing librarian I don't know he uh, uh, he went into this whole thing in a video called leave me out of it about people that he wouldn't talk to <laughs> and uh, he mentioned me by name and uh, while I think that was like hilarious um, seeing as I haven't had any contact with this dude for years um, he could have just left me out of it. And how counterintuitive is it to uh, talk about somebody, but you won't talk to them? I don't know. But to each his own. The reason I bring it up is because, you know, to relate to this, uh, this boxing debate tournament uh, where the topics are given to you, the fighters you're going to uh, argue for or against are given to you. So you may have to argue for a person on a topic uh, that either you don't agree with or don't care about, but uh, such is the way of the tournament, right? That's, the, uh, that's just the methodology that he has in order to keep it, um, I guess, randomized equals unbiased, um, which isn't a bad, uh, it isn't a bad way to go. Uh, I'm not crit uh, critiquing that part of it, although I am arguing for a person that I wouldn't ever think that I'd be arguing for, mostly. Uh, I do for argue for him somewhat, um, and that's Demetrius Andrade. And uh, <clears throat> in a topic about uh, Jamal Charlo, another person that I don't really, you know, talk about that often, and talking about those two guys, <clears throat> pardon me, hold on a second, guys. <clears throat> Uh, and ladies, um, yeah, it's not a subject I, put, I, I relish, but, you know, I'll, uh, I'll do my research and I'll get into it. You know, we don't get to questions so later. But anyway, back to this whole, like, boxing librarian thing. Um, years ago, um, I was in the, uh, the chat on Rafi's channel. Um, this had to be, like, 2019. And boxing librarian called Jack Johnson... A, uh, he called Jack Johnson a duck. So, you know, I, of course, called him a fool or said he didn't know anything about boxing or whatever the hell. Um, and which started a whole back and forth. But then, like, I don't know, a couple weeks later, he had this, uh, you know, 10 most underrated or uh, underappreciated fighters um, in history. And... I um I put my list up there to which he took some umbrage to uh, you know he we had a back and forth he erased my comments 
and you know banned me from the channel but that was in like 2019 I, I really hadn't thought of the guy until then but the the uh the pertinence of it right now how it came up and why you know i'm sacking it to this uh debate series um yeah when i, I think it's important to talk about you know boxing differences you may have some people feel like they've they're living in some ivory tower of boxing knowledge that only they have and um and feel like they can dole it out like i don't know so many nickels and dimes like from a bank or whatever and yeah like i said to each his own um that's not really my approach to it i'm just you know i think knowledge is free flowing should be shared the same way i get knowledge it's not like i created the knowledge kind of thing um and if i did have there's some things that i have created and patent and copyright uh copyrighted so i get that part of it but this isn't that um you know share doing research and sharing the research as you're done um you know, from somebody else's books uh, versus your own kind of, um, you, you know, um, expertise in an, er in, in an area. I, I think those are two different things. Um, but I'm not going to get into the nuance of that. Point being, um, I, the first video I ever, uh, I ever posted was a response to, uh, to Boxing Librarian back then, right? And on that video, um, my boy EJ uh, live, he came on, he said, I like the way, I like your, uh, your boxing mind, come on over to my channel. And, every, and over there, I met um, a guy, Zone 6, Phil, uh, I think maybe Haplo, but I might have been already known about him before then. I'm, I'm a little bit uncertain about that. But um, it was just an open forum of guys who were really knowledgeable about the history, the tradition, the fighters, and you know sanctioning bodies um i think yeah coach over there i met him over there um yeah just a just a bunch of people. I, you know what i actually met h money over there uh <laughs> but anyway that's the di oh that's the different uh, water the bridge point being um when it comes to the round table which i am uh you know the, the zone six um moderated and created uh debate series um yeah, I'm a champion over there, and the topic, you know, I debated Wayne Talk for that, for a vague title, which I got, and I have, since then, welcomed all challengers uh, to the title. A lot of people said that, you know, I suck, and I don't know what I'm talking about, and yada, 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 but they have, none of them stepped up to the plate to actually prove that, <laughs> you know, and for the people to decide. But that's a, you know, whatever, teach each his own. You want to throw rocks in the porch, talk about how you're big and bad won't leave your backyard that's cool do you uh, my point is there's different kinds of debate there's different styles um there's different formats of different techniques i personally love a spirited back and forth no matter how the format uh is structured and uh for me it's all about entertainment and education so towards that end uh all the people who are participating in the knockout debate tournament good luck to you um to the judges thanks for um lending your time and you know your interest <laughs> and your focus on our uh on our debates and yeah uh thanks to knockout for keeping you know debate having a home for debate uh in the white in the youtube boxing community and um to anybody right uh, outside of a tournament or feel like they um, they have a subject or a topic that um, that we have an opposing opinion on, opposing view, and you want to chop it up, you want to come for the title, or you just want to have an informal discussion. I'm your guy. You can hit me up on my channel. You can you know either challenge me or just yeah, like have an invite and just chop it up. If it's not on our Friday session, which is an open panel. And you know, you know, if you want to just do a you and me kind of thing, I'm all I'm your guy. So, peace to you guys. Have an awesome rest of the week. Um, happy Hump Day. I know that most people get late on the weekends, but still enjoy it. I'm out.